What about performance issues? Performance issues are an engineering optimization task. Right? And as a computer scientist, I look at those and I think, great, let's find a way to optimize the performance issues. Now, I was on the internet in 1989, and I worked as an engineer on the internet throughout the 90s. And I worked for phone companies. And I would go and tell them, the internet is going to eat you. Yes, are you paying attention? Every phone call in the world will be on the internet. And they were like, ah. the internet doesn't have the scalability. It doesn't have the performance to do all of the phone calls in the world on the internet. What they didn't realize is that network-centric technology has an exponential innovation rate. So what happened was, the year before the internet could do all of the phone calls in the world, it could do all of the phone calls in North America, and that was enough to put a foot in the door. The year after, it could do two times all of the phone calls in the world, and in five years, it could do all of the phone calls in the world, plus HD, plus Netflix, plus TV. And so it then swallowed five industries instead of just one. Bitcoin right now can do a limited number of transactions, but we already have a number of solutions that can increase it by a factor of a thousand. So, for example, Lightning Network can take the existing capacity of Bitcoin and take it up to a thousandfold. Two or three years later, I think we can probably reach about 100,000 transactions per second, which is what Visa can do today. It took them 20 years to get there. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, um, you were saying you, you asked the the director of or a manager or a credit card of a credit card company. I couldn't even pronounce that word you said the big long German one about the credit card company. That one. Um, <laughs> uh, and he said, "No, no worries. It's never going to be successful because of performance issues." You see, this is why I advise the banks. Don't hire a blockchain consultant. Hire someone from the music industry, the newspaper industry, the TV industry, or the phone industry. <laughs> Sit down with them and say, when did you first realize that the internet was about to eat your business? <laughs> Question one. Question two. What did you do to stop the internet from eating your business? Question three. After the internet ate your business, what would you do differently now? <laughs> And I tell bankers, the internet is coming to eat your business. You can think it's not going to happen to us. That's exactly what every industry that has been swallowed by the internet said. And they probably said something like, oh, it surely can't do HD video for everyone in the world. Bye-bye movie industry. <laughs> Um, and so this is exactly what's going to happen with Bitcoin. It will be below the capacity of Visa for a few years, and then it will reach the capacity of Visa. But by the time it's doing that, it's going vertical because it's on an exponential curve. It took Visa 50 years to get to where it is today, and when Bitcoin arrives at the same position, it's going to be able to do 10 times the capacity within two or three years. I am almost certain of that. Why? Because as an engineer, I've seen it happen with technology again and again and again. So if you're basing and betting your entire multi-billion dollar business on the the engineers who built the internet can't figure it out, oh boy, are you in trouble. <laughs> All right.